Hello and welcome to Frog Mad. Today we'll be I will be talking about white tree frogs and how to care for them. So, firstly, about the terrarium, uh, it should be a good sized terrarium. This is a um, Exoterra thirty by thirty by forty five terrarium. They need to be mildly tall, as they're climbing tree frogs. Um, they need a little place to hide if they feel threatened. Lots of climbing apparatus. A water bowl changed and cleaned out daily. And um, places to sleep. You can see the two frogs there. That's Briny and then that's Bob. They sleep all they sleep all day and come out at night. Um, quite interesting to look at when they're when they're out and about. You can pick them up about twice a re week and they can quite enjoy it. I remember one time Bryony was pushing on the doors trying to escape and then she crawled onto my hand when I opened the doors. So on to feeding. Every what for a, um, a juvenile frog um, you really need to do about six crickets every two days and for an adult um, six, six crickets, well that's two frogs, and every three days, so about three crickets per frog each day. You can only really fit two frogs in that size terrarium, but they do like a partner. The crickets will be ne will need to be dusted with um, calcium and vitamins powder. You can all treat food for them, also need to be dusted, and they can be mealworms, wax worms like I've got here. Um, earthworms and other other stuff that they can actually fit in their mouth. P um, pinky mice are one for adult tree frogs. I feed my livestock with bug gel to keep them hydrated, and the water is topped up with spring water. You can also use dechlorinated water, but I prefer to use spring water. They will make the glass. Um, quite mucky so that we need to, need to be cleaned every so often and um, the whole terrarium should be cleaned out every one to two months really you don't really need to use disinfectant just clean out um, change the things around to keep it interesting for the frogs they like to in explore new environments ideally have one or two um, live plants that will keep the air fresh for them and as I've done as I'm doing now um, take the roof off the terrarium just to let the fresh air come in. We need to have a well ventilated terrarium. Humidity, that needs to be anything above 50, ideally in the white zone of a Komodo um, humidity gauge. My frogs like to have a repti hammock, they sleep on that a lot, climb around on it and perch on it. Nice and sturdy for them with the um, plungers on the side of the wall. About every three months a substrate will need to be changed with these frogs. They can make it very mucky and they, when they pee it all dribbles down into the floor so that will need to be cleaned out monthly. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe for more and check out my other videos.